Okay, folks, I'm not gonna lie to you. You'll hear it anyway. I'm way out of breath. It's my first day with any amount of moment to fish since coming back from the beach where I only caught one whiting out of a couple of trips out. So I literally ran down here. I've got maybe 20 or 30 minutes before I'm all the way out of light. Sun's already behind some trees. Uh, so just real quick, I'm tying on a crack and craw for a minute near my house. Um, Sunday, I'm gonna get back out and do a little bit more actual work on this. I've only caught a little bass in a while, so uh, hoping to get out to some deep points on Sunday and maybe toss around a spoon or some jerk baits or something, lipless crank or something. But for the moment, this is what I got, this is where I'm at. I literally tied my knot as I was walking just to, and kind of ran a little bit too. Especially since I forgot the pack of baits back at my truck. No idea what will happen. I haven't fished fresh water in about, oh, I don't know, 10 days, 2 weeks. I was just getting ready for going to the beach there. That was our anniversary weekend, so I didn't get to fish that much. Um, but I still had a great time down there. Um, it's just before Christmas right now. And uh, if you've never been to the beach when things are decorated for Christmas, I definitely highly recommend it. I know a lot of the action happens close to shore, but honestly right here at this spot, I think there's some kind of little pocket out there. And I do in fact tend to get like a fair amount of action a fair bit out. There's probably like some sort of change in the bottom there or something. Edge of a drop off, bunch of rocks, I don't know, something. So far the only action I've seen is one fish jump about 30 or 40 feet offshore. Move over this way a little bit. I'm not really trying to explore too much though right now. I am still recovering from a hurt back, but that's not why. I just don't have much time. And it's cold. And yeah, those things. Those reasons. Basically that's it. I just saw some stuff going on over here. If there's bait fish in the area, maybe there's big fish in the area. Seems logical. This isn't bait fish imitating, but uh, doesn't really mean anything, does it? Not a guy. Clump of sticks, clump of sticks. I didn't even wear the right shoes for this. I'm wearing my nice Adidas.
No way. You're kidding. <laughs> oh, thank you, buddy. Oh, you are freezing cold. Ha! <laughs> okay. Well. You, my friend, are beautiful. So happy to see you. <laughs> oh, I was just swimming it in. I was like swimming it like a little swim bait. And like pausing it when I, whenever I feel a bump. Sure enough, this little fella. Thank you, my dude. Bye. Yes. Awesome. Heck yeah. Well, how about that? 40 degrees, still caught a fish. Thank you, Mr. Crackencraw. Um, you know, I don't think it's necessarily the bait, but it didn't hurt. It did not hurt. Let's try that one more time as I walk out. Like, I was seriously just on my way out, having fun with it, swimming it along so I'm not just, like, done done. And sure enough, that worked. That's crazy. If it works again, then I'm going to have to send a letter to somebody. That is hilarious. <laughs> All right. That's it. I can't see what I'm doing, so uh, we out. <coughs> and that's all you get. Uh, no real intro, no real official outro, so to speak. Um, this was just a, a fly-by-night operation at best. Um, had a day at work had a little bit of time before I got to do stuff at home had a new pack of crack and craws so we came we fished we conquered if you can call it that I caught a bass Woo! Uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fishing Control. I really appreciate everybody's support so far. If you like what I'm doing, want to see me grow and expand and do more stuff, please hit that subscribe button. Also, that notification bell is pretty important too. That lets you know when new stuff comes out and helps me a lot. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next trip.